well in the ghetto. Everybody in the morning, we could have, if, if we had something to eat, we could eat. And then at 8 o'clock in the morning, we went to work in the fields. And then this, this one fellow, he told where, who was going. And we worked. Uh, we did not come home for lunch. We worked till about 5 or 6 o'clock. And uh, then we would come home. And there was, what it was there, there was no place where to move around. If you have 10 people in a room, you can only sit down on your bed. And you have two to a bed. So there really wasn't anything else. And we knew that something is going to happen. We had this feeling, and my mother always, what she did is she sewed in some Polish money into my slip. And then I always wore two dresses, and uh, she put on some very good boots on me. So this, we were always prepared. That, and she told me one thing. My mother said to me this, Hanchu, if something happens to me, you and Chaimek, Chaim was his name, but we called him Chaimek. Chaimek must go on. You save your life. If, if you will live through you, I will live. 